Hi and welcome to another game video and today is, well it's just a quick video uh, and it's a bit of an update to a short that I did a few weeks ago where I was talking about upgrading the micro SD card that's in the SD to Vita for my PS Vita. So about 18 months ago I picked up a another PS Vita, modded it, quite a simple process these days, uh, everything is done on the device itself. And, and then I bought this micro SD to PlayStation Vita adapter and popped in a 128 gig micro SD card. And then it didn't take very long for the card to fill up, so I needed to upgrade it. I didn't want to lose everything that was already on the card, so I thought it'd be, it, it would be a simple process just to get the two cards in a device like my laptop and just copy from one to the other. Uh, as long as hidden files were shown, that should work. But it didn't. You can format the card on the Vita, but I didn't have any luck with that because every time I put in the new uh, micro SD card, it would lose all of the, the custom firmware apps that I was using, and it became a nightmare. So the only other option is to format it on your PC. And it needs to be formatted in a certain way, so you need to use the Win32 Images software, um, pop the new card in, and you also need to use zzblank.image. Uh, as far as I'm aware, this sort of overwrites everything that's on the card as a blank, and you use Win32 Imager to write the image to the new card, and also to make sure that it's in the right format, so it needs to be in... Uh, FAT32 I think it is, or XFAT, and to set the cluster size to 32. Uh, if you're using anything bigger than a 64 gig card, it's recommended to use 32K clusters. And then once you've done that, you should be able to just go from one to the other. So if you can get two cards in one device, so uh, two card readers, uh, which I did, I had a card reader in my laptop and then I also had the, the new card in a USB adapter and you can just copy everything from the old card to the new card and um, you would need to make sure you had hidden files switched on so that it got everything from the old card and it took some time, I'm talking about um, 90 gigs worth of stuff to copy across and it took about an hour and a half it will vary depending on your devices, uh, I was using um, an internal card reader slot in my laptop not known to be the fastest of devices I was using that to read from the old and then I was using a USB 3 micro SD adapter to write uh, the new card so it, it took about an hour and a half and it worked so when you are finished you can then just pop the uh, new micro SD card back into the adapter and pop it back in your Vita and turn it on and hopefully if it's worked um, the Vita will not show any different it will just well everything will be there that you had before you will just have uh, a lot of extra space so if we go into Vita shell It will show you the size of the device, so under the UXO, you can see there that it says 233 gig, so it's a 250 gig micro, a 256 gig micro SD card. Whenever you format, you lose a bit of size anyway. And I have got, I've used now 200 gig of that 230 gig. You just see that there. Uh, on my UXO, so it worked. So now I've gone from 128 gig to 256 gig. I haven't lost anything that was already installed or saved on the card. It's not the easiest of process, which it should be, but anything you do on a Vita, uh, modern wise, it's just a bit awkward. So just thought I'd let you know that it is possible to upgrade your micro SD card without losing everything that you've already got on a Vita. You need to use the Win32 imager. Uh, ZZ blanket, make sure it's formatted in the right format and make sure it's set to 32k clusters um, and, and off you go and then you just have to wait for everything to go across if you if you're going it, it will depend on how much data you're copying across 
90 odd gig it took me about an hour an hour and a half to, to move from one card to the next uh, so there you go I've now got plenty of space or did have until I started filling it up again and maybe at some point I might have to upgrade to a 512 gig or maybe not link like subscribe enjoy